Hi, welcome to Adventure RV Group here in Napa. Today I want to talk about maintenance. Now that you're an owner of a new RV, whether it's a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, a motorhome, or even a pop-up A-liner, you will need to do some maintenance, something to prevent leaks from happening in your trailer. After this atmospheric river, I figured this was a good time to talk about it. So depending on your trailer, you're gonna have different spots that have different kinds of sealant. On the one that's behind me here, we have clear silicone around baggage doors, clear silicone around lights, these edges on the front and the sides, um, on the outside speakers, all these little areas will have some kind of silicone. People will use gray, white, black, or clear. Um, on the windows and doors, sometimes they'll use a butyl tape, which will actually have to go in between the, the window fittings, and that'll be a different type of repair or maintenance item. But if you've got silicone, repeat that do what your trailer already has on it. That seems to be the best path. Um, so today I do wanna show you, if you think that doing this kind of maintenance is in your wheelhouse, I wanna show you how to do it. It's, it's simple, but it does take a steady hand. So today let's show you how to do it. Okay, so on your ceiling gun, you have this spot right here and you have a couple markings up here and it really has to do with how much you want to come out at the time of applying. So I'm gonna go in about the third line down and this little handy dandy tool cuts that right for me. Oh, I'm a little dull. There we go. That's a pretty small hole. Let me try and cut it this way. go. Now that's going to be a little bit messy when we put that on. So if you have a tool to clean that up and I'm going to want a bigger hole there. So if your gun's a little bit worked like mine, you might want to get some, uh, a pair of pliers or something like that to cut that. So today I have as an example, an A-liner. This is a pop-up trailer. This has some sealant that's kind of pulling away and needs needs a little help in there. So this is a perfect example to show you just some simple use of silicone. So first, before you go in here, you're gonna take a rag with some Dawn soap, some um, different cleaning agents that won't leave any residue or anything there. You wanna make sure that it's nice and clean before you get in and lay down your new bead of sealant. Then you're going to open up the cap and you have to cut open the base of the bottle so that your stuff comes out. This is a clear silicone and you want to just take this and use it less is more and you want to go right into the area that you want to fill. There we go. And get it in there with its tip. Whoop. Follow the line. And as you have done this more and more, you will get better with a steady hand. And then you're gonna take this, you know what, gloves might be preferred, but you're just going to simply run your hand over it to clean that up. Now, if you have some paper towels, I would suggest that. But we are gonna tighten this up a bit here with a little cloth that I brought just because you do want this to look nice when you go camping. Everybody likes things to look pretty nice. Now, if you feel like you need to go over a little bit more, I feel like I got in that corner there and I feel like I did lay the line there where I wanted it. This was just to continue the line. That is the basic of putting some silicone caulking on. Now, there are other places like around these edges around the top edges here. That's where you're gonna really put your eyes on every nook and cranny of your trailer and find where it might need these little spots just to make sure you're keeping water out. So once you've gone around all the side of your trailer, around the speakers, around the windows, around the baggage doors, then you get to the roof. 
the roof can be a little bit more dangerous for some. You have to be up on top of it to lay a lap sealant. You typically don't see silicone up there. So what we, what we prefer is Dicor products. It's a self-leveling sealant. And same thing, you take your rag, you clean the area first. You do not do any scraping or anything like that because that can damage your roof. And then you would go and lay right over the top of what you have in place already is this lap sealant. Um, I would say if you don't feel inclined to get up on the roof, call your local RV service place, call us. We can do your ceiling on your roof. It's definitely something that you don't want to ignore, and it's definitely something that's going to keep your trailer or RV or pop-up or motorhome from leaking. So give us a call if you need us. Like and share. Thanks for watching the video today, you guys. I hope this helps. Happy camping. Thank you.